what's up guys i hope you guys are well we are in a little town called tale in the northern part of ghana and samantha is going to be teaching us how to make vegan cheese from scratch generally vegan cheese is not that good but this was actually quite tasty and i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already by clicking that red button and yes guys let's get right into it You guys, this is the soya beans soaked and then it's being dried and then it will be grounded into a powder with water to make the cheese. So what she about to do now? She want to do it like the normally, like the way they are doing for it if they grant it. Mm -hmm. To strain yeah, it. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So that it will separate the this thing. The water, the water from, from the oh, okay. okay. Does she measure the water she's adding to the soya bean or she just... Yeah, they might like to put it in the she just... She just adds it, okay. Hi guys, so today we are learning how to make vegan cheese. We're still in the town of Tale. If you haven't seen all my other videos in this little village, make sure you check it out. It will all be linked in the description box below. We're learning how to make vegan cheese. Recently we learned how to make regular cheese from cow's milk here in Ghana. Today we're making it from soya beans. So if you're vegan, you're gonna appreciate this. We have Tashi who is teaching us how to make it. Samantha. Okay, Tashi or Samantha. We're looking forward to it. They've already started the process. They soaked the beans for about a day and then they grounded it. And then now they're straining it to get the liquid out and then the process is gonna continue. I hope you enjoy the video. They're using this fine cloth and then they're pouring the soya bean in there with some water and then they're straining all the soya bean milk out. They will dry it. They will sell that one. Separately. What do they use it for? They, they normally use it for animals. Ah, animal food. <laughs> Oh, 
So the soybean is strained twice, so this is the second training process through this bath. This is teamwork guys, there's quite a few people that are involved. So while she's doing the straining over there, there is, uh, Samantha is also setting up the fire. the strain liquid looks like. It looks very milky. Mm. Look at this giant pot guys. So they're restraining the liquid they collected from the bit in the basket and they're going to add that to what's on the fire. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, so I've just been told the soya beans, even though it's soaked, it's dried again before they grind it into a powder. So they don't grind it whilst it's still wet. Mm. Okay. And then once they're grinding it, they add water to water. it to grind it. Yeah. Okay. It's really it. Right. After drying it, they'll wash it and then, and then grind it. Oh my god, guys, look. They have rabbits. Look. They're so cute. Oh my god. They're all just chilling. How cute. You guys, so she had um, water collected from the previous cheese she made when she strained the cheese out. And she's going to be adding that water to this new batch of soybean milk that she's cooking right now. So why is she taking the form of those localities? Okay. Thank you. 
You guys, the cheese smells, the cheese liquid smells like um, cassava dough, the one they use for banku making. It smells, it smells very similar to it. So can you drink this as well, just like the other one, for fever and stuff? This one you can't drink. No, okay. You can't drink this one, unlike the one you get from the milk. That you can drink, but this one you can't. Mm. Guys, the cheese is done. Oh, it looks so funny. <laughs> She's burning her hair. She's burning her hair. She's burning her hair. She's burning her hair. She's burning her so they're salting the cheese now and then I can taste it before they fry it. So I've been given a piece of the vegan cheese so I'm just about to taste it and see what it tastes like. I'm quite nervous because vegan cheese, what I've heard about vegan cheese is generally not that good. But anyway. It's good, like it's not e it's not hard to eat, but it doesn't really taste like cheese to me. The texture is close to cheese, and it has that saltiness, but there's no bite or anything to it. Salt the cheese in that water, and then fries it. Alright guys, so this is the end product of the fried cheese. Obviously this doesn't have that crispy golden brown outside that the dairy one had. But let's taste it. Okay. Let's see how we feel about it. Oh, it's very hot. It's really hot. It's still crunchy on the outside, even though it doesn't look like it. It's still very crunchy on the outside. Oh. It's hot. It's really, really good. It just doesn't have the same creaminess of the dairy as you would expect, but it's really, really nice. So, if you're ever in Ghana, make sure you try Wagashi, both the vegan version and the non-vegan version. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow your bliss. My life is short. Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. And then this is the idea. And follow your bliss. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Make sure you try. It's home time, guys. We're riding through the market.